Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I will be going through the steps of how to download and install VMware Player on Windows 10. This instruction also works on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and Windows 10. So, the first thing we're gonna do is download the VMware Player or the workstation set of file from the internet. Second, we're gonna run the set of file with admin rights. And third, uh, we will verify the installation will work. Also, the link for downloading the set of files or the installation files will be included in the description below. Also, I have another video on how to install Virtual Oracle VirtualBox, which looks like this on Windows 10. Uh, so you will we will be able to find this video at the end of this video. I will put a link up so you guys can check that out as well. So let's get going. So first, let's go to Google and uh, basically we will go ahead and download the VMware, uh, VMware workstation or VMware player so we'll simply type in uh, VMware workstation uh, download and you should be able to see the v my VMware link coming up uh, so basically you can click on either this one or or this one I will provide both links in the description uh, so just to make sure this is the pro version so this does cost money um, and that's the evaluation as well as this this one so yeah but you know it's good for testing so let's go ahead and try this one so we're gonna go ahead and click uh, download now as you see at the bottom left hand corner it is going to download so at this point I'm gonna pause the video I'll be right back as soon as the download is complete all right guys so as you can see on the bottom left hand corner the download is about to finish so what we're going to do is go ahead and then open up the setup file. To open up the setup file, what we're going to do is go ahead and click on this up arrow. I'm using Google Chrome and click on show in folder. Now another way most download files are downloaded in the downloads folder. So another way you can get this if you don't know how to do it, go ahead and click on the Windows Explorer and go ahead and click on download. And in the downloads, you will see the downloaded file. So go ahead and right click on the on download file and click on run as administrator and once you once you do that it's going to run the application so, uh, so as you see it's going to start installing the vmware workstation player and we'll just have to wait for the setup to run here now if you have any issues uh, installing uh, this vmware workstation player make sure virtualization is enabled on your laptop to do this just be simply go to google and type in enable virtualization on whatever brand of laptop you have you may have hp dell lenovo etc you know and basically all you need to do shut down your machine make sure the uh, virtualization is enabled and you can find this by simply googling up your own laptop and you can see this option option right here virtualization technology it needs to be enabled in the bio so simply do that uh, if you have any issues installing so there we go the set of file is up so we're going to go ahead and click next so we will have to accept the license agreement um, this will install also, also enhanced keyboard driver so it will work directly with your keyboard and um, let's also make sure we don't want to join the VMware program and if you want to check for updates you can but in my case I'm, I don't want to do that because it just adds an extra uh, extra load on the machine for when it starts up so at this point I'm going to go ahead and click on install as you see it's um, starting the installation copying files and it should be done installing here shortly uh, Okay, so it's almost done making us changes and it should prompt us here for installation complete option. Also guys, make sure you guys don't forget to like and subscribe the videos because I will be making a couple more videos on VirtualBox as well as VMware Workstation, how to install like Windows 10, Windows servers, Linux machines, and things like that. So make sure you guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As you guys can see on your screen right now, it is install installing in the virtual NIC card drivers right now and that is why it disconnect the machine because i am already peed into that windows 10 machine so i just install that and we'll just have to be patient here and let's see let the setup complete here All right, so I think I paused the video, guys. So as you guys can see, the installation is now complete. If you have a fully licensed version, you can install the license file. If not, go ahead and click on Finish, uh, and it's asking for us to go ahead and restart the machine. So I'm gonna quickly restart the machine, and I'll be right back as soon as the machine is restarted. So I'm gonna pause the video in the meantime. 
<clears throat> all right as you guys can see the machine is just coming back online also if you guys are wondering what i'm using in to remote into this machine i'm using a tool called remote ng which you can use to rdp into different workstations so that's all i'm doing this is a virtual machine running on a vmware okay so let's go ahead and double click on the vmware workstation player 15 and it should uh, come up any moment here so Okay, as you guys can see, it has opened up the Google Chrome and right there, uh, VMware Workstation 15 is free for not commercial use. So if you're just using for personal use, it's completely fine. Go ahead and click on that and click OK. And there you have it. So now you have successfully installed VMware Workstation 15 on your Windows 10, uh, Windows 7, or Windows 8 laptop, desktop, or any kind of machine. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the other virtual machine or virtual box video on how to install that and get that also running on your Windows machine. Thanks for watching again, guys. See you on the other side. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.